welcome to Jubilee Road for a model locomotive review. Now today we're going to do something slightly different. We are going to have a look at this model like we normally do. But as you can see, this is a Hornby 66. Now basically these are the budget 66s. And I bought one of these basically, as the title says, are they any good? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out. So, first off, packaging, really nice. Got a nice picture of the local one there. We'll show you the end of the box so you can see. There's the price I paid, 70 and it's R3486 Schenker Coco Class 66 uh, DP World London Getaway and it is 66185. So yeah, and as you can see, I paid 70 quid for this, which is a good price. Well, or is it? We'll find out. So if we start getting this out of its box then, I'm really interested to see what these are like. So we got the standard Hornby packaging as we normally do in the ice cube. So we'll just uh, carefully remove that. There we go. We've got the model in the, the package in there. Um, yeah, we do have a little um, uh, piece of paper, maintenance. Um, I believe it does open out again. It does. Oh, quite nice instructions. How to put detailed parts on, lifting the body off. And I don't believe there's any screws to lift the body off on one of these, so that's always nice. Hmm, okay. Get rid of those two bits of packaging, because we don't need them anymore. So, let's... Um, and let's get rid of the sleeve. Um, we got a detail impact on the top here, which we've got um, front valances for either end, and we do have uh, pipe working in there. You can just see them there. So uh, yeah, that's the detail one end which I will be doing. So here's the model then. What are these like? Oh, oh, actually, this is actually. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll have a closer look at this. I'm impressed already. So now we've put the model uh, on the track. Um, so we can have a little look at the details. Now, yeah, on first glance, it's actually really nice. We got the DB logo in the middle. We got the number, which is 66185. Um, we've got non-working uh, lights there painted. Um, if you're on a budget, I don't suppose the lights not working is a problem. It certainly isn't to me anyway. Um, you can just see the windscreen wipers. They are present. Uh, we've got buffers, which I don't believe are sprung. No, I didn't think they would be, but you know me, I don't really care for sprung buffers. And also we got that white handrail, which is separately fitted which is a nice touch and you've also got the warning stickers there either side of the loco we got this larger coupling just here at the front and um, this will be coming out because i can fit the extra details on the, the uh, front of the model so that will get rid of that pretty nasty coupling so let's have a look at the uh, side of the model so here we go then the side of the model and again yeah it's actually quite nicely detailed we do have the handrails picked out. I don't believe they're separately fitted, but they are raised. They are raised. You can feed them there, so that's nice. you got the warning stickers again there and there. The grill's quite nice. It's a real grill. And you've got the number just there. If we just move the model slowly this way, you can see some of the underframe details, which obviously is all moulded. You've got the DB Schenker logo. Actually, that's printed perfectly on there. No problems with that. As I said, you can see the underframe detail, it is there, it's just uh, all moulded, but, you know, this is a budget class 66, really. And then we go to the other end, again, we've got the nice grill. The, um, yeah, they're definitely raised, these uh, handrails, so that's nice. Got more warning stickers, you've got the name, just there. Um, looks like you've got a maker's plate, you can just see by my thumb, I'm not even going to try and read it, because it prob it's... Uh, but it is there. So yeah, so far, 
this model has nice detail, quite nice glazing as well, it's not chunky looking, it's pretty realistic actually. So yeah, at, so far I'm quite impressed. Now obviously we're not going to look at this uh, end here, it's exactly the same as the front. So let's take at the detailing on the roof. So here's the roof of the model then. It's not bad. You got all the exhaust uh, just sat there. Might um, might be nice to do a slight weathering on that. You got the access panels, and you got the grill there. So overall, the detail is not bad. So now we've looked at the detail of this Hornby 66, which, in my opinion, is good for the price. Now we get to the insides. Now this is where the biggest difference between the Bachmann and Hornby models are. Now, this is only powered by one end, which is this end here. These drive, these pick up, but only trailing wheels. But the Bachmann, as you all know, drives on all axles, so that is a big difference. The motor is also at this end, it's not a motor in the middle. Um, which some of you think might think, well, that's no good. It does. I've had it haul and train round the layout, and it doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever with the lighter freight wagon. So I don't think it makes any difference, and it does seem to run really well. I give it a quick run earlier just to see how the thing d does, so I can give you a better understanding of the model. Um, there is a good side to having the motor up here. From about here back, there is loads and loads of space to put an absolutely huge speaker in this, which I think I'm going to do. I could probably quite easily fit the earth mover speaker in here. There's so much empty space at the back of this model, so that is a good thing. So, running quality then. It is DCC ready, 8 pin decoder as usual from Hornby. Um, I haven't fitted anything to it yet. So uh, let's go down to the footbridge. And to be honest, I think they run quite well, so let's go. Absolutely silent too, actually. To be honest, the way this thing runs is easily as good as a model costing twice the price of one of these. So, although it's a budget 66, they, you don't um, get a rubbish runner, that's for sure. You can see it there. And it runs pretty slow as well. So yeah, really good running quality from this model. So, let's take it round the layout. So take it away, uh, Schenker 66. Yeah, it would go the wrong way, wouldn't I? Yeah, well, off you go. There we go, that was the little uh, running session round uh, Jubilee Road. As you can see, no hesitation, it runs quietly and really smoothly. So then we come to the question that we asked in the beginning. Are they any good? Well, judging by this one, the answer is yes. They are good models. I know some of you are going to say you don't get the detail, that's not the point. That you know, 
Um, I have always thought when a loco is speeding round a layout, can you see the tiny details? No. No, you can't. Um, and I'm all for cheaper models. 100%, guys. You know I've got expensive models, but there's nothing better than getting a cheap model that runs as good as a model that cost twice as much as this did. So, prices? Well, for the Hornby ones, be careful, because you can get Lima ones which look exactly the same, but this is a Hornby version one. Um, they range from about 70 up to just under the 100 mark. Now, the Bachmann ones are more expensive than that, especially brand new. Um, I did have a little search around on eBay. A Bachmann DB Schenker 66 is actually 150 pound, and this one costs 70. Can I see the, I don't know why the other one's so much more. I can't see how they can justify um, adding that much money on just for working lights and some finer detail. I don't know, let me w know what you think, guys. But I'm really, really impressed with this 66. And for 70 quid, runs like a dream. You can't really go wrong with that, can you? So, uh, leave a comment in the sections below to see uh, what you think of the model. I'm pretty happy with it, and yeah, I would recommend buying one of these. Possibly doing a bit of a weathering job. Might make it look a bit more smart, I guess. But there we go, guys. That's the end of the video today. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and also subscribe for more videos. And that's it from me. Bye, everyone.